Speaking of salutations, welcome to another video. Today is a bit spookier. We're going to be making a pumpkin instead. So it's just a simple pumpkin we're making. Cut, extrude into it, uh, color it properly, and then if you go into the studio, we can make ourselves a little backdrop. Try to zoom in properly. And then if you actually go into the proper environment, in the studio, we can add a light into it, so it actually looks a little bit more like a Halloween pumpkin lantern. Right, okay, so let's finish the studio. It also looks better if I just change the edges off. So let's put them back on. Right, so let's move into part. So we are going to actually start with some planes. Let's start with the XY plane. Let's start with the Y axis. So we're going to make a plane there, there, and we're just going to make it nine degrees. Why nine? Well, because we're going to mirror it and then fill it to give us a nice curve and then we're going to rotate it 20 times to give us a full more spherical rather than oblate sphere pumpkin style right okay so let's we can turn that y axis off now right so now this work plane here could really just be gone just for a tad while uh, so we're now just going to start on this sketch. We're going to make a line. Going to make it small, but you can scale this up to whatever. I was going to say to 90 odd degrees. Bang on. Right, next job. We can make a construction line just to make it a perfect semicircle, which is just going to be 100 over 2. We're going to turn the construction off. And we're just going to go into arc and we're just going to snap each ends of our line. That there. Perfect circle. Done that right. Now, the XY plane can disappear just briefly and we're going to turn on the work plane we made earlier. So now, if we just start a 2D sketch, it's pretty much going to do very similar to what we did. Snap up 100 on the zero degrees and then we're just going to go to the arc except this time instead of fully making it we're just going to make it slightly smaller uh, about there ok ok click finish now what should then happen is when we click we are going to be able to loft them together to do that and now what we can then do is, is now if we then click on the mirror tool we can click mirror that, mirror planes that side, click OK. Right. Easy peasy. Now it just saves a bit of time. We can fill it this here. Just make it a bit rounder, I don't know. Let's try it with 20. Ah, it's a bit smoother. Right click, apply. Now then we're just going to use our circular function, which is now just going to rotate this however we want pass an actual the solid, otherwise it will ignore the whole fillet with the dirt, which should be a complete waste of time. And our rotation axis is right here. Click OK. Oops. Actually probably need to make it so it's actually 20 units. And there we go. So you've got a nice the nice little bumps. Pretty much standard for a pumpkin. Let's make that work plane disappear. snap around or rotate it right okay so the next kind of job we could really do is first to just take a little rotate out rotate part of it out of the top just to smooth it down just slightly so we're just going to then kick out a plane and we're just gonna make you visible and we're just gonna start a 2d sketch now I'm just gonna make a circle About that big. Okay, and we can just shift it around until you get so beautifully and unconstrained so that we can literally adjust it as we please. Click OK. I was going to turn this construction line. I'm just going to drop an arc. Just saves a bit of time. And we're then going to do the one last thing is just going to make a center line so an inventor immediately detects it. 
when it comes to this, uh, just click the going on to revolve into a cut. Click OK. Now then what you can do is you can now mirror this feature along. No, we need to make. We actually need to make the mirror plane just a bit higher. So if we know this is zero, we know that's a hundred. So we need to put that slap bang at fifty. So let's just click mirror. Just going to mirror this revolve on that mirror plane. Click OK. There you go. So you now cut it out. Right. So let's get rid of these planes. And we can actually sp actually start on the shelling process. So we just click shell on the top, and that will then just remove it. And let's say we're just gonna make it thinner. Let's say we're just gonna make it. I don't know, uh, ten mil thick. No, that cute. Actually, that's no, a bit too thick. Let's only make it five. There we go. A bit more of a cavity in there. And let's then just go. With fill it just to get just to make all these edges just a bit nicer and 20 is a bit absurd two we can go a bit we can go for maybe eight let's let it compute there we are, looks a bit better. Click apply. And you can just click cancel. So there you go, that's actually kind of the rough shape. And so if I just click on the environments, not the environments, the appearances, and we just go for something like orange. There we go. It's the base side, and now then we can just go into. Let's make another plane. And we're just going to make it just about there. Right, so that's where the actual fun part where I actually get to do some carving. So, I don't know, maybe we can start with polygons. No, I'm just going to. This is probably going to look completely different to what I did earlier, but. Something like that, and we can do something like that. I've got curve. So we're gonna give it a cheek grin. Click finish. Now this is only basic, you can go into more detail like I did with the one I showed you to start with. And we just gonna select them and change to a cut. Well, let's say we go 25, actually flip it so it actually cuts all the way through. And click OK. Now the main issue you've got here is you can't really distinguish them that well. So what I like to do just to make a bit more of contrast is we're just going to go in here and we're going to add anodized black. So what we do is we just select just the inside parts here. Just looks a little bit more spooky. And so we're just going to select the bottom. And we're just going to select just that to that. And we're just going to spin it around. And there we go. We've got a bit of a pumpkin going. No, nowhere near as spooky as this bad boy, but it's a good start. So that's really the, ma the actual majority of this part done now. We're actually going to go into the studio section, which I'll upload as a follow on to this video. Right, so if you want to watch the next part, just click through. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for listening.